1930, Donald Bradman came to England, he was only about 23, and he made 974 runs in the series. It was absolutely absurd how easy he found making runs. He made 300s and 200s, and he averaged something like 129. England had to find a way to stop him, so they came up with this plan in 1932 to try and bowl body line, which meant bowling short of a length at his body with men close in on the leg side. And the man to use that kind of strategy was Harold Larwood, the fast bowler from Knotts, who uh, in a way was quite angered by Bradman. He had seen Bradman at first hand knock the ball around and almost treat him with sort of nonchalance. He'd also seen Bradman not walk once in a match which he felt he got a, an edge early in his innings and he carried on batting. So Larwood really wanted to find some kind of way of, of getting Bradman out and upsetting his whole rhythm and, and completely sort of banishing him from the dominance that he was able to achieve. So in the Bodyline series of 1932, Larwood and his accomplice from Nottinghamshire, Bill Vose, bowled a lot of short balls. Not, I don't think, as many as is actually portrayed, but they bowled some short balls and they freaked out the Australians just by their approach, more than by the number of fast short balls they bowled. They actually had close fielders on the leg side sometimes, but not all the time. And the key match in Adelaide in 1932-3, when he not only knocked the bat out of the Australian's hand, Larwood, but also hit Bill Woodfull, the captain, in the chest, and struck another batsman, uh, Bert Oldfield, the wicketkeeper, on the head, but only a top-edge hook. It wasn't really the bowler's fault. That was the match in which a crowd almost uh, invaded the field because they were in so incensed by England's tactics. England won the match comfortably, and actually after that, body line did didn't really feature. It really was about uh, fast bowling and rather timid batting from Australia. They could have countered with their own aggressive tactics, but they decided not to. They said it wasn't cricket. And in the end, a long time after England had won that series, the Australians admitted actually that they whinged rather too much and they should have really tried other ways of getting back at England and trying to fight a, a good fight. And they felt they'd made too much of the Bodyline series, which almost caused uh, an international incident. Larwood, sadly, became uh, 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 almost a bit of a, a scapegoat for how the spirit of cricket had been tarnished in some way. He never played for England again after that 1932-33 bodyline series and in the end, ironically, he emigrated to Australia where they were welcomed him with open arms.